special praise team this morning. We have been practicing all week to help lead you all in worship this morning. So we're going to sing two of our favorite Vacation Bible School songs. You may recognize them. Now while I don't expect you to be standing in your seat and doing the motions with us, I do hope you'll sing along. But let us stand. If there are any more Vacation Bible School children out there, you can come up here with us. But let's stand as we sing this little light of mine.
Help us to love others. Amen. Amen. Okay. So many, many, many things we learned this week. Now, uh, who was it? Piper, I need you to come up here first. Can you hold this up? Great job. Each night, we learned a new Bible point. We also learned a response to this Bible point. So in just a second, all the kids up here are going to say, Jesus gives us hope. And then, that's right, Ethan. <laughs> and then you all are, are going to respond, follow him. All right? So let's see if we can try it. On the count of three, Jesus gives us hope. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus gives us hope. Follow him. That was so good. Thank you, Piper. All right, Catherine, can you come up here and read this Bible verse for me? See it on the board there, up on the screen? Oh, Lord, you alone are my hope. That was excellent. This was the Bible verse for night one, and we learned motions to it. Do you remember? The motions go, Oh, Lord, you alone are my hope. Let's all of us do that together. Re together. Ready? Oh, Lord, you alone are my hope. Excellent. All right, Andy, can you come hold this poster up? Okay, you could, okay. Can I hold the, can I see my steps for him? Sure. <laughs> All right. Jesus gives us courage. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus gives us courage. Follow Now we're learning. Very good. Thank you, Andy. You did that so well. All right. This, okay. Let's see. Ethan, I bet you can do this really I well. Do oh, you want to do the last one? Okay. Do you want to read the verse? I can help you read it. I can tell you the words and you can say it into the microphone. Take courage. Take courage. I am here. I am here. That was perfect. And our, <laughs> our motions for that, do you remember the motions? Take courage. I am here. All right, that was good. Let's see if we can all do it together. Take courage. I am here. Perfect. All right. Who, uh, can you come help me hold up the next poster? Yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I have that exact same shirt. You do? It's a good looking shirt, isn't it? Do you think you can hold this up? Yeah. Okay, turn around, face them, and put your arms in the air. Perfect. There we go. Okay, this was on the third night. We learned that Jesus gave us direction. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus gives us direction. Oh, you guys are learning so well. Thank you, Albert. I want to do it then. Okay, well. Do, do you think fast. you could help me read that verse up there, Micah? I'll tell you the words and you say it. Wait, stay right here. Okay, so the words say, He will show you which path to take. He will show you which path to take. <laughs> All right, so this goes, He will show you which path to take. So let's all do that together. He will show you which path to take. Awesome. All right. Who wants to hold up my favorite character? All right. Well, Anthony, I, can you, do you think you can read the next verse for me? Kelsey, do you think you can hold this one up? And how about, can you come help her? Can you help her hold it? What do you think? I will. Let's, can you come? Let me see if you want. Will you come help? All right. Here we go. All right. Here are my two helpers. Can you hold that up? Oh, perfect. This was my favorite character. This is Olivia. Olivia the Owl, and she taught us that Jesus gives us love. Ready? One, one, two, three. Jesus gives us love. Follow him. All right. Thank you, ladies. You are perfect. I want to do the last one. All right. Anthony, can you come read this Bible verse for me? I'm going to do the last one. Next slide, please. All right. This is the really long one. Think you got it? Okay. We know what we all love is because Jesus gave up his life for us. That was just amazing. Okay, so do you remember the motions? We know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us. All right, let's all say that together. We know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us. All right, Ethan, you're up. All right, this was Ray, he was who we met on the last night, who taught us that Jesus gives us power. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus gives us power. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are such good readers and responders. All right. Who hasn't helped me yet? Has everybody helped me? Oh, Dylan, same as the best for last. Okay, can you read this Bible verse for me? Our great power is from God, not ourselves. That was so good. So this one. You helped me read the Bible verse, remember? 
Our great power is from God, not ourselves. All right, let's say all, let's all say that together. Our great power is from God, not from ourselves. You all did such a good job. Before you leave here, leave the stage, we are going to sing one of our, probably one of our favorite ones. If you were a leader who helped, you can sing from your seat. But we are going to stay up here and we are going to sing Light of the World. That's it, right? Yes, number eight. We're going to listen to the theme song here a little bit. All right, stand up so you can help me sing. The fun isn't quite over. Can you all go? It's not quite time for the children's message, but you guys can go sit on the floor and, and sit down there so you have front row seats to hear Sue and Isaiah read scripture. But let's go over here and have a seat. Good morning. What a tough act to follow. <laughs> if you would like to follow along with us as we read uh, Psalm 8, then uh, you can find that in your pew Bible in front of you on page 535. And I must say, we had a fabulous time this week. It's been such a joy to hear these kids sing every night, um, and they did an awesome job today. Psalm 8. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. 
you have set your glory in the heavens through the praise of children and infants you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger when i consider your heavens the work of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have set in place what is mankind that you are mindful of them human beings that you care for them you have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor you made them rulers over the works of your hands you put everything under their feet all flocks and herds and the animals of the wild the birds in the skies and the fish in the sea all that all that swim the paths of the seas lord our lord how majestic is your name in all the earth Right. Did you all have fun singing? You all did such a good job. Thank you. Did you recognize that verse that Miss Sue and Isaiah read? No. You didn't? Well, the words they said was to another Vacation Bible School song. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, how majestic. Did you recognize it? We, won't ha we don't have time to sing that this morning, but I love that those verses. Oh, my goodness. I almost forgot. Do you remember Clark from VBS? Well, someone told me we have a very special me special message from Clark. If you can't see a screen, make sure you um, make hey sure. Hey, friends! I'm so sorry I can't be with you this morning to share about how Jesus gave us hope. Jesus gave us courage. Jesus gives us direction, love, and power. But we had so much fun at Vacation Bible School. Thank you so much for all your help. And don't worry, I will get my certificate from the Caving Institute. Don't forget your personal fall assistant when you go caving. Thanks for everything. Bye! That was so nice of Clark to give us a little message. That was so fun. One of the things I love about that scripture passage we just read is that it reminds us that God is everywhere, in the mountains, in the skies, in the seas. Do you remember at Vacation Bible School when we talked about watching for God? Does anybody have their bracelet on? Oh, Anthony has his bracelet. Micah has his watch for God bracelet. Now we... Every night, do you remember, we wrote down all the different places we saw God all week long. And as we wrote them down, our sun got brighter and brighter and brighter as we remembered that Jesus is the light of the world. Now, some of you answered lots of these questions. Where you saw God each night. You saw God in the games. You saw God in the singing and the songs. You saw God when Miss Linda prayed at snack. You saw God all over the place. And I think that's such an important thing to remember, to watch for God everywhere we go. You know where I saw God? Do you want to know? I can tell you guys want to know. I saw God each night in every single one of your faces. When you smiled, when you sang, when you asked questions, that's where I saw God. And so I want to take just a minute and look up at the screen because we have one more spotlight video. And it shows so many smiling faces. And that's where I saw God this week. So let's eyes up here and let's watch. <laughs>
That was so much fun. I hope that you remember how much God loves you, how much this church loves you, and how much fun it is to worship and love God, isn't it? All right, I'm going to pray for us. And then parents of College Parkway children who take their kids down to ETC, if you want to help some of our guests make it down there too, um, that would be great. But preschoolers and kindergartners, you all can go down. Grade schoolers are welcome to stay in. You're a kindergartner? All right. In five days, you're going to be a kindergartner. That's so fun. All right, we're going to pray. What do we do when we pray? Do you remember? That was perfect. Put our hands together and let's close our eyes. Dear God, we had so much fun worshiping you and finding you all over the place. Help us to keep watching out for you. Help us to keep loving others. And thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to love us. Amen. Thank you, guys.